All right, John Evans, Harry Mole. We're here after an amazing performance. Harry, how are you feeling at the moment? Thank you. Uh, very good. <laughs> Uh, a little bit disappointed, but um, still happy that uh, I did what I wanted to do on stage. I had a lot of fun, um, and the feedback was really good. Uh, judges' feedback is amazing. Uh, went a bit beyond what I thought I, I would expect. Yeah. And John uh, is the coach of Team South Africa this year. How did you uh, enjoy this experience? It was uh, a little bit stressful. I think um, <laughs> last night I actually slept really well for the first time because uh, you know you just uh, you got like so much in your mind and so many things to consider. But it's been really incredible just from like an organizational point of view. I mean, everything is exactly where it should be and when it should be, and um, there's just been like amazing support, even from they call them the buses people who are carrying your stuff around for you and that kind of thing um, like Harry mm. mentioned from the judges um, yeah just from everyone at World Coffee events so it's, it's been an amazing experience for me yeah. Harry what are you gonna take back to South Africa and what do you what do you need to do to to do really really well here okay so from the judges feedback what I'd like to do is develop my palate a lot more I thought I could taste coffee but <laughs> they want very 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 specific flavors um, so for example, my one flavor note is grapefruit and they got ruby grapefruit peel, which <laughs> I have not, you know, eaten a ruby grapefruit peel, but I think uh, I'm going to, you know, spend some time learning more and developing our palates a lot. And then um, also working on an overall theme that connects throughout the set with your flavor. That seemed to be a very prominent um, characteristic that they were looking for as well. Yeah. And John, in terms of uh, South Africa as a, as a country, as a team, as a SCAR, as a community, what do we have to do to do well here? I think, um, I was just talking about it, I think uh, it's important to be here because you kind of realize, um, I mean, you and I were chatting about it earlier, we're not that far behind actually. Um, Harry and I are kind of picking up just really small things that we got to do, but you kind of not going to know about those things unless you're here and um, seeing them and experiencing them so I think um, we've got to be persistent and I think we've got to um, really place an emphasis I think on the importance of competition like for me competition is super important and I don't think it is for everybody so mm. I think we've just got to keep uh, competing and keep pushing really hard and keep coming back to WBC until we are you know we're the guys um, in the top six people are kind of expecting are going to be in the top six. Harry, yeah. a final, final word from you? Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, I am going to. I'm going to go to a diner pretty soon. Maybe <laughs> get a tattoo. Mom, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Um, but yes, uh, I want to just say thank you, especially to John here. Yeah. <laughs> it's my bestie over here. Um, just to, uh, he's taken me through this journey a lot and he's been, um, he's got my back a lot. Even if we don't know how ruby grapefruit peel tastes like. Oh, <laughs> but, um, I want to also say thank you to Martin Fitzgerald, Dale, and uh, Mr. P, um, who's backed us a lot in terms of finances, but also motivation and our passion in the community. And uh, thank you to my family and friends, obviously. Uh, I love you all. Well done, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Cool.